Hello, in this tutorial, create your own simple Swift app. First, let's open Xcode. So let me open Spotlight Search by Command Space and Xcode. And I have Xcode version 13.4. So first, let's click Create a new Xcode project. And now in iOS, we we'll choose an app. Next. And let's name our app Two Button. Make sure this is under storyboard. Create. Great. So let's go over to the main. And essentially, this is where our storyboard, and this is where we can add buttons, images, and other layout features. So first, let's start off by adding a text field. Plus, and then text field. Let's drag it over. Now, let's use the layout guidelines to center it and make sure that it covers, make sure that its width is long enough. Let's add some placeholder text. So let's say enter text to display in the label below. Let's increase the width and center. Great. Now let's add two buttons. Make sure they're centered and it should be right underneath our text field. Our second button. And let's add our, let's make our first button say set text. And our second button We'll say clear text. Increase the width and then center these. Now let's make sure everything extends from the left margin and the right margin. And let's create a label. So we'll drag it over, let's put it on the bottom. And now make sure this also extends from the left to the right and it's centered. Now let's center the text and say placeholder. Now let's run our app and see if it's working so far. As of now, none of the buttons should show. None of the buttons should, should cause another function. Let's see if our text field, two buttons, and field will show properly. Great. But this time, it doesn't seem to be perfectly aligned. Let's make sure we choose our correct device. Let's choose iPhone 12 Pro. Now let's run it again. Great. Now it seems to be much better. And now we can continue by opening the assistant under here. This allows us to program our code easily. Now let's create an outlet for our label. Press control on your keyboard and then drag the label over here. Let's make sure this is an outlet. Let's name it label and make sure the type is a UI label. Let's also create an outlet for our text field. Press control and drag it. And make sure it's an outlet. The name is text field. It's a UI text field. Let's also do the same for our buttons. So control and let's drag a buttons to create an outlet. Let's name this set text button tap connect. And let's also create one for our clear text button. And let's name this clear text button tap. 
Now let's actually create a function. So option, let's drag it over underneath here. So let's create an action for a button. Let's name this text button app. If we click enter, we have our action now. Now, to be able to change the text of our label, all we have to do is call it. So we'll do label.text to access the text of the label. And now we're gonna set it equal to or assign it to the text field's text. So it's equal to text field dot text. So when the button is pressed, the text in the text field will be assigned to the label text. Let's do a similar thing with clear text. Let's click option and drag it below it. Option and let's drag it. And now let's make sure this is an action and let's name this clear text button tap next. Okay, now let's make sure our label dot text is equal to just the empty string so it's cleared. Now let's run our app and check replace. Great, now let's see. So if we say enter text to label below, it changes and we can even add our own statements. So if I were to say hello, set text to hello, if I click tier text, it changes. Let's do a few more things to make our layout more appealing. Let's click here and let's center this. And great, we have finished our first app.